my maid in the image of God. Walk on my name and walk on kill him. Today, today I have a very special rapper. Some of the hardest UK rap you ever hear. Come on, bless her. The underground. My guy's from Reading. I say Reading, but where's where's like your where you from from like? I'm based in Surrey. Sorry, okay. Oh, it's, it's sorry, close to Reading. Yeah, man. Hello. Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. Today we have greens in the building. Pa 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 pa. I heard your latest release and I was very impressed with it. I was like, but I've heard your music before that, obviously. But the one that you DM me like a week ago, I think that that song is fucking cold. Shit, fucking cold, man. Yeah, that one means a lot to me. That one, bro. Really? Why? Why did you say that? <laughs> well, you can't talk about it or it's um it's like a little story if you listen to the lyrics yeah it's just about old like my old life and like um i don't know like from a toxic time i guess oh okay yeah, so so you're 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 a different man now yeah yeah man you know i like to hear that yeah man okay you, you want to elaborate or that's it that's it <laughs> Yeah, let's that's, leave it there, that's bro. Cool. That's cool. Let's yeah, leave it there. Let's, let's leave it there. there. Let's yeah. leave it there. Anyways, this is the beginning of the interview. Anyways, we don't, we don't have to get into all the specifics yet. So, how you doing, man? Let's yeah, go. I'm good, bro. It's a bit weird. Like last time I've been on an interview is like in the police station, bro. It's <laughs> bit, it's bit, but it's better vibes, man. It's better vibes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't worry, we're not going to be asking none of them type of questions yeah, that bro. the police want to know. Bro. Trust me. <laughs> Coming out of black TV or something. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, yeah, nah, we don't we don't do that over here. Come on. I always say to people as well, when you're in the mic on the video, like don't incriminate yourself. Mm. And like I said to you earlier, but that's not gonna be on this video. If there's something you say that you don't want out, don't put it out there. So I'm not liable, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm not trying to get niggas like I'm not trying to get niggas locked up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's bad for business for me. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. But um where did where did the music start? Let's start there. Okay, bro. So, I can show you a video if you want, bro. Uh, yeah, sh- like whatever. Like this is this is just you know what I'm saying. It's like yeah, think about it like a cool, just relaxing, chilling session where you're just talking to me about yourself and your music. So whatever you want to pull up, pull it up. So, I mean, I'll send you this video as well if you want to put it in the video. Oh uh, yeah, 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 do so, that. I was ten years old. Yeah, when my uncle first came around my house and was playing this beats. One, yeah? yeah, he was playing beats on his laptop. I was ten years old. It's the first time I ever freestyled on anything, rapped anything, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. That's crazy. It's corny, bro. Like, it's <laughs> cheesy, bro. I'm zoning, you know hey, this is, this is part of the history, yeah, man. man. This is a part of the journey, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's hear it. It's all waffle, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, flows, young greens. Flows, but young no greens. Rhymes, no bars, just flows in it. Hey, your yeah. heart was in it. That's what that yeah, matters. 100, bro, 100. Okay, okay. Oh, the little bit of break dancing in there as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ah, right, you lot going to see the video right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I put this on the <laughs> on the interview so that. Okay. And you say what? Well, you was ten in this. Yeah, I was ten years old, bro. Damn. So what was what was the inspiration behind that? Just your uncle, or have you like kind of like been yeah, sort of like, bro, like so in hip hop, and you, you kind of like liked it? Move a little bit to your left, like slightly, so just slightly. Yeah. My sister's a dancer, isn't it? Okay. And she always would play like hip hop music in the living room, like dance to it. So naturally, like I was gravitated towards like hip hop rap mm. already, and then. I used to dance as well, so like that's where like my musicality has came from. Okay. So like my f- my flows, like I get alright flows because I can understand the the, the, like, the rhythm. You know yeah. So yeah, man, that's that's where a lot of my love for hip hop come from. And then try speaking to the mic. Though, oh yeah, yeah brother. Man, like, that's cool, it's cool. You mm. might not be catching you too much. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So yeah, and then growing up listen to bear rap and like, i was a youth like 13 doing my paper round at like five mm. in the morning damn i'd be riding like a bmx yeah with no bricks and like Ooh. 10 kilos worth of papers like on, <laughs> on me like no bricks like riding like this like yeah. trying to rap bars on my phone 5 a.m like, that's that's how i started bro and just, at just, 13 as well yeah man just writing not even making like music just writing bars bro 
And then the first song I made, I think I was at 15. Mm-hmm. I was just like, so I was with, I was with a man them, just baking off and like all the man them freestyling bars up, like, taking a piss in it. And then yeah. I did my thing, man them went crazy. They were telling me, oh yeah, you should make a video or record something. And yeah, man, I recorded a video in front of um, my boy's barbershop. Yeah. And it got like 2K views in like a week. And like, mm-hmm. Looking at that now, it's, it's not all that. Like, yeah, but, but still, yeah, like, man, f- but first attempt, like... Yeah, 100, bro. That's, yeah. that's 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 not bad at all. Yeah, bro, like, 15 years old, I was feeling like the man in school, bro. Yeah, I, like I can imagine, in school, it? Everyone's yeah, like, oh, man. your boss is hot. <laughs> so, like, so you must have been, like, what, year, year 10? Yeah, 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 Something yeah, like that? Literally year 10, yeah. bro, I think, yeah. And um, do, do you mind saying what school you went to? Just in case there's people out there watching that might have gone I to went school. to Collingwood College. Yeah, yeah, yeah man about that shout out to all the man them out there man Come on. so so obviously you released this freestyle now and everything's all buzzing in school you, you're feeling yourself now when was the first time you actually went in the studio and was like all right cool let me lay something down mm. like seriously think about my cadences oh yeah that. like do you get what i'm saying like yeah, when, when you get to like the professional part of music professional part, yeah see so just a bit before that like first year of college my brethren had a brethren called RL Prods. Yeah. And that's, he's our producer from Reading as well. And shout out to the so man from Reading. So I thought the story saying beats hard because beat was hard. Yeah. My man invited me over and like, he became my Jenna, like, like right hand bro, like, because uh, we would just, I'd just go to his house, record every day, like, they crash at his house three days straight. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as we wake up, I'm telling him, wake up, like, let's make a beat, let's get on the mic. Yeah. Type, type shit in it. And, and then I, st- I started getting some money in, and I went. I started going to a studio in Tottenham, okay. with um, Foreign Studios, and uh, I used to go there, and I used to play beats like there and like record my songs there. Mm-hmm. And the guy that owns the studio, a guy called Dundee, yeah, um, he was like, "Oh, who's who's the producer? Who's the producer of this?" So I showed my boy. He was telling me like get the producer in, mm. and now my boy works there. And, like he's a okay. big king, bro. Like big engineer for some big artists. Yeah, bro. So, what's the what's the name of the producer? R O Prods. R O Prods. Shout out to R O Prods. Yeah, come on, shout out, man. That's like that's crazy though, because obviously, like you know, in in the UK, we get like we have a lot of fucking talent in the UK, and I always say this, but most of the time, you don't really get people recommending the boys, which is like mm. the saddest thing yeah, about. Yeah, bro. It's not you know what I'm saying? Not like, at all. Everyone not at wants all. to support the people buzzing. Do you get what I'm saying? And they don't you know need your support. Well, obviously, support who you want to support, but they don't need your support more than your your mandem. That like, you know is sick. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So through that, did you kind of like keep a relationship with um, Dundee or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Yeah, he's, he's cool. Like, we're right, bro. Like, we're, not, we're not super close, but yeah, we're right, bro. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. All right, I'm, try- I'm sensing that, like, obviously, you know, if you... If you just go in the studio, like if you start, if you kind of look at rap for for what it is, and the way you rap as well, and the things that you rap about, I'm sensing that, like allegedly, of course, that some of that stuff you might have gone through. For sure, bro. What's like the most thing that like ins- that inspires your music and the way that you approach music as well? Pain, bro. I don't know if I said that too loud, but I got to say nah. that loud and clear, <laughs> on it? Pain, yeah, pain, bro. Like. Yeah. I don't know, bro, because a lot of men are hard at making music. Yeah. But I don't hear no heart. I don't hear a single bit of heart in it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's, that's the main influence for my music. G. Like, even if I ain't got lyrics to say, I've mm. got something I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So you go to the studio, you ain't got words ready, but you got something you feel on your chest and it'll, the words will just come right out, bro. You ain't got to think too tough, bro. Like, if that's how you're feeling, bro. It'll come right Facts. out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. on the tip of your tongue. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And obviously, like, you, f- you don't have to if you don't want to, but is there anything specific that you might want to... You know? I'm going to try to get you to incriminate it's yourself. It's not too specific, bro. It's, it's I've heard your song, and I know what you've been saying, mm. so, but I don't want to... You know what I mean? I don't want to put anything out there. But I will say, though, like, I can hear... I can hear the pain in your songs. You know what I'm saying? From, like, a UK rap perspective. And... I don't know. You, you earlier you said that you 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 make trap music, but I think you make more rap music, more hip hop music than trap. Because yeah, I think so. Because you're not. 
you do you do some melodic stuff, but I feel like you're like I won't I don't want to call it boom bap, but like the the tracks where you're like rapping rapping. Yeah, what you're saying. You know what I'm bro, saying yeah. that's I feel like that's more you. Even though I don't really know you, but just as nah, a listener, you're right, G, you're right. you get what I'm saying. Low key, you're right because man used to start freestyling on boom bap beats. I search boom bap on YouTube, like that makes sense. Then like in the whole like jumpy hip hop flow in it, like it, it comes from that, I guess. And yeah, you're right, bro. Yeah, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh right, let's 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 shift from music a little bit and just talk about like green, like you, you know, mm. you're you know you coming up. First of all, like. Where are you from? Like, what's what's the what's the what's your background like? So my background is Thai Chinese, bro. Okay. So my, I make sure both. Yeah. So my dad's full Thai. Yeah. My mom's half Thai, half Thai, half Chinese. So yeah. As a quarter Chinese. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know anything about my China side. Like, oh, okay. Like, all my family is Thailand. Like my grandma moved to Thailand like when she was young. She don't even know any anything about, about family. Yeah, bro. That's it's like nice. it's quite deep, bro. Like, bro. Yeah, I yeah the history there is a little bit. I'm about to do an ancestry murky. test or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the history there's a little bit murky as well. Like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know too much about it, but I know that there's there's been some beef there. You know what I mean? don't even know about that. Still. Yeah, there's there's been some. That's why, like, actually, I don't know if that's why, but I think that's got something to do with like the whole issue that's going on in Tibet and shit. Mm. Yeah, because like niggas are fighting over land and shit. But anyways, Much this is not a political <laughs> podcast. This is not a political <laughs> podcast. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I just, I, I just thought about that real quick. Mm. But um, so w- you was born here. I guess yeah, yeah, born here. Alright, cool. And um, what was it like for you growing up here as like a, you know, like, it wasn't too bad, bro. Like it wasn't, like it wasn't mangoes and peaches in it. It was on. It wasn't like. It was super nice, but like it was nice, bro. Like it's, it's not back there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Like here will always be better than back there. That's true. No, what where you where you come from, bro? Like I'm saying, like I don't know where you're from, brother. I'm like, Nigerian. But like you know for a fact, like it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. right, bro. Isn't it? Compared to there, even making peas over here is yeah, way more it's, way easier. It's different, bro. Like facts. Yeah, man. Like I didn't have a lot. Like, like didn't, didn't get a lot like growing up, but I got like. Basics yeah, that yeah, you which I'm grateful for. You know yeah, like, but yeah, bro. Shout like, out to moms and dad. Yeah, man. Like, I didn't. I want. I didn't grow up in no hood and no gutter, but I didn't have it super easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, that's and that's where you get the. I'm guessing that's where you get the hustling mentality yeah. from as well. Because people that people from um from Taiwan and like Thailand, bro. Thailand. Okay. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. My bad. So people from Thailand are like very hard. Actually, generally, just like Asian people. Are just Hard working motherfuckers. Yeah, sure, so, it? it's true. So you get your, I'm guessing you get your hustling mentality from like your parents and shit. Yeah, bro, for sure. I think it's in my blood, man. I can't lie. I think it's in my blood, like, cause my dad, my mom, shit, bro. Like, I remember, I think I was like nine years old. My mom wake up like five a.m. Yeah, to go do a cleaning job, and then after that shift, like, go do a shift at like. A bank for like nine to five, Damn. and then six p.m. till midnight or eleven p.m. Like another Damn. job as a cleaner. That's Come home at midnight, five a.m. Wake up, repeat every Fuck. day, bro. Like, stem things. That's crazy. You know Shout out to Mumsy. Yeah, bro. That's a hard, like you watching that do all of that. Did that kind of put a fire in, like in your? You know what I mean, yeah, for put sure. Battery in your back to be like, you know, I go, I go make, I yeah, go make sure, it. Bro. Yeah, man. And like growing up in sorry, like. A lot of um, people around me were quite privileged. Can, yeah, so, so, cause sorry is a rich area. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, bro. So, like, a lot of people would go to school, like, drip down shit, da 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 da. I remember I'd be in the basics, in the Primark basics, all of that. But, like, and I always thought, oh, shit, I wish I could have that. But, like, I, I see how my mom, mom, how my mom works. Like, I didn't even want to ask for that shit, bro. Of course, man. Yeah, I didn't want to ask for that shit. Like, I asked for 20 pound pair of kicks from Sports Direct. And mm. I was saying, and like these white boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, anything they want, bro. But no being disrespectful to you know your parents, did the parents still as well? Like, that was nuts to me because I was born in Nigeria mm. and I, I moved I moved here like when I was 12, right? And the culture difference was fucking crazy. It was crazy. Like, niggas getting all they want and talking to their moms. Crazy, like like an unheard of type thing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? 
But I guess because I don't, I don't, I don't like using the word immigrant. But for people that are from like, I don't even want to say third world country either. But for people that are from like less developed country, right? We kind of have that morals and respect thing about us. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying, sure, bro? No, Especially with the elders, like yeah, for sure, bro. And I feel like it's because you see them grind hard, and you see you see the, the especially government of this country and shit. You see them shit on your parents, and your parents don't even like turn around and you know put that on you. Instead, they work even harder and shit. Mm. There's value in that, and honestly, like most people don't see it, but I appreciate it whenever I meet someone that's like, yeah, I really respected that. Yeah, it's, it's tough though, bro. Cause like, like me and my me and my mom are calm. Yeah, like, it's tough though, bro. Cause like, I'm I'm grateful for my my parents. Yeah, but like, man's not really calm with them right now, isn't it? Really? Like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm not I'm not spoken to my mom for like two months. Damn. Is it is it something that you could talk about or no? Yeah, bro. Like, um. It's like a difference of opinion. Yeah, I guess different like. Ways of views, views of like life and mm-hmm. and the music thing, especially like, like I I put grind in music. Yeah, but your parents are gonna think that's not a grind at all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your your parents, like my parents, might not see that as a grind at all. I feel you. you know what I'm like, my dad sees it though. My dad's different. My dad, like, my dad bumps my music, G. For real, like, like shout got, to, shout yeah, to your bro, pops, man. My, my dad crazy. bumps my music, G. Like my my biggest fan, bro. Like. Repost this thing on Facebook. Gee, That's you know crazy. Yeah. Facebook into that, bro. <laughs> like, he ride his bike to work. Yeah. With my mixtape on loop. Okay. So like when the mixtape's finished playing, he's listening to the first again, song yeah. again, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like them type of thing, bro. Yeah. Now that must feel good to get that kind of support. Because mm. what my dad said to me was this this podcasting thing is a hobby. I was like, I was they don't see bad. it. Bro. They don't see they it. Don't until they the don't money see it comes. The money, yeah, bro. And then Literally. they start pretending like they didn't say all that mm. bullshit. But I'm, pff, I remember, bro. I have, yeah, a, bro. I have a memory of an elephant. <laughs> That's facts. That's yeah, facts. Bro. And not to say, and to be fair, to be fair on them, it's just that they've been kind of brainwashed by a system mm. that doesn't want them to like. Like, isn't it crazy that like oh, I don't want to? I don't want to get racial. Yeah, or I don't want to make this ra- racy, right? <laughs> but you kind of have to. It's crazy how like you get all of these like Caucasian children, right? Okay. In the in the media industry, and they they're like. In Sony and Universal mm. and BBC and all this shit, right? But then their parents be telling our parents that like all them type of jobs, oh, it's useless. Mm. You, you need maps and sciences. We need the, all the black people to do the science work and the maps work. Mm. Right? It's either that or cleaners. It's like that doesn't make no yeah. sense at all. Do you know how much money people are making off of music, bro? Do you know how many companies are white? Like, do you, do you like deep it? Mostly Deep all it. of them. Most, most Mostly companies in the all world of them. are white, bro. Like, so when you actually see like a fully Asian business, a fully black business, like, it's, it's sick, bro. 100. Because it's like, um, what's the word? It's start from the ground up. Uh, you can yes. Start from the up, yes. Bro, like, obviously, every other company has start from the ground up a long some, time ago. Some, that's true. And some of them don't start from the ground up. Some of them, they, they, their Parents, dad gave yeah, them a million yeah, yeah. pound loan. Yeah. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. With a million pound loan, bro, yeah, yeah. that you don't have to pay interest on. Come on, like, it, like, honestly, a lot of you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah, for real. Because if I had a million pound mm. loan from my father, I never have to pay interest in that. Mm. Bro, I'd be a billionaire I'll already. Be rich. Crazy. I'd be rich. The some of them, some head. of them piss the money away, mm. and they still be like, anyways, that's that's the way we hit to talk about. Mm. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, isn't it? Hundred, bro. Gets me riled up. 100. But um, when I when I met you earlier, like. I didn't even know that you was green because obviously you got the mask on mm. and shit. What was what was what's the what's the reasoning behind the mask? mask yeah, it's because in my lyrics I say mm. things I shouldn't say. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly. In your alleged I lyrics, say, I say fictional things. Yeah, that aren't true. Yes, right. They aren't yes. true, bro. Facts. Right. Make, remember that they aren't true, bro. Not true it? at all. I'm saying they're not true at all. It's all cap, bro. Cap. I'm big cap. Big cap, bro. So. Yeah, that's why I wear the mask, bro, isn't it? Okay, I'm not trying sense. to get bagged for shit that I don't do, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know and by the way, law enforcement, this is not greens. Yeah, this bro. is the guy that's like pretending I'm, I'm to be green. Yes, you know what I'm yes. I'm yes. Still. He knows everything about him. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> now, bro, you do have to say. Well, maybe not, not really over here, but especially in America, you do have to say them things because you could get you 
in sticky situations. Yeah. 100%. But um, do, you, do you think the, the mask kind of like helps with your um, branding and image? Bro, it don't. At really? All. Why'd you say that? It, it ruins it, bro. Look at me, G. Look at I, I get what you mean. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, I get what like, you mean. Like, uh, wherever I go, bro, people tell me I'm very... um. Get the mic. Yeah, wherever I go, people tell me I'm very like marketable yeah maybe like relax yeah like the way the way i'm presented like it's, it's easy to remember i've got like a look especially me and um my girl yeah like um rockstar made shout out to rockstar made like shout out rockstar made like when we're together like sometimes we have matching fits so like yeah. um like you know what i'm saying that type of thing where when you're in the crowd people are gonna remember you g you know what i'm saying and then when they see you on like the instagram feed just release a song like shit that's that guy you know what i'm saying but me in a belly I just look like another Joe rapper, G. You know what I'm saying? No matter true. how hard the music that's is. That's true. But the Bally office, uh, there's a face of my music. That's true. I get mm-hmm. what you mean. But I feel like, I, I get what you mean. If you could actually just rap with your face off, mm. it would it would be better for you. Because you are you are, you have a marketable like look about you. But I feel like not not a lot of people that are like really rapping, rapping, have the mask on. Mm. So I wouldn't really put you in the... In the like, what's it called? In the box of a drill rapper, because mm. especially in the a state drill, that drill no, is in drill nowadays, rapper. atrocious. And a drill rapper. You know what no, I'm saying? Drill, rapper in it, yeah. drill is fucking like terrible it. right now. All of you drill niggas in the UK, you need, need to figure something out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what it is you're gonna do, but that's what I'm saying. Like, because when I when I heard your music, like the the Bali thing didn't really even phase me. The only things I thought he was black. Swear <laughs> down. Yeah, I did. I actually Swear did. Down. I actually did think he was black. Because I don't know. I just, I didn't mm. see the hair. I didn't see nothing. Like, yeah, that's true, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I just yeah. kind of assumed, okay, cool. This guy's hard. Blah, blah. Not that you're not hard if you're not black. Mm. But it's just, you know, it's yeah, just I like, I just, like yeah, I just kind of assumed that. Yeah, man. But are you going to ever, like, pivot up from that, though, eventually? The mask? Yeah. Soon, bro. I got a music video I shot. And my girl just told me, you know what? I think she take off the mask. And I was, I was kind of conscious about it because I was like, hmm. But once oh, when, once you start rapping without the mask, don't incriminate yourself though. Yeah, bro, I know. Yeah, don't incriminate that's yourself. Like, that's, that's where it's techy, you know. That's where it's like it's so hard to. But low key at the same time, like I'm starting to not give a fuck. Yeah, and do you know what else? Cause like how you could kind of get around that if you want to show your face and still allude to some of the things. First of all, never confirm anything. Never say it's, this is actually. Let's just say use use like words that are, like suggestive. As opposed mm, to like, and right also right, right, right. put like a disclaimer in front of all your tracks. Mm. Everything that's been said, you know what Lil Duck did? Everything on this song is absolutely fictional. None of it is real. Like mm. what we did earlier, like trust me, it will work. Because yeah, when you're thinking about branding and marketing, like it's like pretty much 50% of this shit, bro. Most of these artists that are like big, or the ones that got big before the record label came and signed them and blew them up, is their marketing was on point. Mm. Some of them aren't right, even bro. that great. So important, G. One thousand percent, cap, bro. I think it's way more important than way more important than your actual you song. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm saying some, some man that I'm, I'm not gonna name because like, I'm not a hater. Yeah, like, I see like they're doing a thing, so like, yeah. let them do their thing, innit? But like I see like, they're mid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah. like I could be mid to them, cool. But like then they know that, bro. But they got teams pushing their image, pushing. The market is right. on point, that's why. Mm. That's why. But shout out to everyone doing their thing out there. Yeah, man. Like, you know what I mean? End of the day, like, even if someone is like, even if someone's got like a little cheat code, I guess, yeah. to like blowing up, I don't feel sour about it because like, we're, we're all in the same boat and everyone's Facts. got their own way to get to the destination, innit? you know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. I'm, I'm not going to let that stop me from getting to my destination. You know what I'm saying? Facts. X. Yeah, bro, and that's that's the mentality you gotta have, as well, especially yeah. in this music scene, bro. I feel like when I look around the, I was, I'm gonna ask you a question in a minute, but let me just say this quick. When I look around like the underground scene, especially because I don't really pay too much attention to the mainstream scene. Yeah, so the mainstream scene is like, especially in the UK, the, the labels they got that. Like, there's no even, yeah, there's right. no point trying to fight them. They got too much money, too much connections. It's just, and the UK is so small that you're not mm-hmm. gonna win. But when I look at the underground scene, I'm like, there's an opportunity here, right? There's an opportunity here for all these men to actually, like, be a unit. Like, obviously, everyone's doing their own thing, you know, elevating <coughs> and, what, and whatnot. But I feel like if the support was better, 
it would be better than the UK, than, than not UK, sorry, than the US underground scene. 1000%. For sure, bro. For sure. For sure, bro. Like, 1000%. UK underground scene is, is starting to go it's, off, bro. It's starting it is, to go it off, is. bro, like, on a but mad team. It is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but, but that's what I'm saying. But just individually, like, mm. like there's so many talent. And it's never just if if it was just individually and people were just kind of like letting other people do their thing, it'll be calm. But there's this idea of oh yeah nah, I can be the only one that can make it out. Do you know what I'm saying? It's so stupid, you be, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's so fucking stupid. Very bro. very stupid. Bro, so you be getting some guys talking negative on other guys mm. and not giving yeah, niggas bro. a look just because like oh yeah you're friend with this person mm. and it's just fucking dumb. I'll be real, bro. Everyone deserves the flowers, like. Even if, like, a lot of people I don't fuck with, like, I don't fuck with, but you're doing your thing. Like, clap, I'll, I'll yeah. Clap, bro. No cap, G. True. Like, you're doing your thing and, and you're further than me. So, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm hating you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the waste man here. I'm, <laughs> you're not the waste man. I'm the waste man here. You know what I'm saying? Like, man ain't even made it yet and I'm, I'm wasting my breath chatting shit on someone. Like, fuck Facts. That. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But that's what I'm saying. That's, 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 oh, I, okay, I've said this so many times. Like, I feel like a broken record, but that's what, pretty much the main like the 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 underground scene is like you get what i'm saying mm. it's just a bunch of guys that aren't really working hard hating on the niggas that i can see are putting in the work you know what i'm saying yeah, I hear that, bro. because the niggas that are putting in the work like they don't really they focus focusing themselves that they don't really like have yeah, time, time to be to you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. do you know what i mean so it just makes sense it should but, be um it should be you versus yourself absolutely you know what i'm saying like Cause you, if you're always like pre and next man trying to compete with it, like you're never gonna win. And I, I don't know if you know that, but you, like you, you're never gonna win because, like your biggest competitor should be yourself, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying, Absolutely. You're, if you're better than you was yesterday, like you ain't gotta worry about anything else. Facts. So in terms of like where you see yourself in the scene, like where do you see yourself? I mean, like where do you feel like you fit in in the whole, you know, the whole underground? I'll be sorry, I don't feel like I fit in. At all, maybe not at all, but like, it's it's weird, bro. Like, I got so many sounds. It's actually like fucks with my head, G. Like, because because <laughs> I don't know how to approach it next. So like, I'm just I'm just vibing, bro. Really, yeah. I'm just I'm just having fun and trying to post good shit out. And yeah, bro. I don't know. Like, I'd fit in super trap. Okay. Yeah, I'd fit in like not s- like s- not like s- I don't know, bro. not like. Proper rap, rap. You don't, you don't feel like that's that's where shit. Because I feel like you got bars, bars. Like it's not because obviously, like not to say niggas that do super trap don't have bars, but because of the melodic thing that they do, mm. they lean more into that playing. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, they lead more into the melodies and shit. I mean, obviously, I've asked you from your perspective, so fair yeah. enough. You know what I mean, I don't know, bro. Like it's it's a weird one. Like how how I see. I used to think I gotta keep pushing and break break into someone like a mode that's already there, like mm. like a um what's the word, like a sound that's already there. Like I gotta get into a lane, yeah. and then I realized fuck that because you gotta create just your just own. Do my own thing, and just, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And the lane will come, bro. Like one like, hundred. You know saying if it's good music, people will just fuck with me, and they don't care what the sound I'm doing is. You know Facts. What I'm Facts. So just keep grinding, bro, and it'll be alright. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So okay. How do you feel like you've gotten to the point where you've obviously actually that that's a let me scratch that from what I'm hearing from you, it sounds like you're still trying to you're still on the path to find like your own lane and not just your own lane like your own like sound as well. Mm, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. Because you still be I experimenting just, and shit. Though. I love music so much. I don't want to stick to one sound, G. Okay, you know what I'm saying I don't. I don't have no interest to do that, bro. Like, I, I can make like I can rap on a trap drill, drill trap beat and go yeah. crazy, talk berserk. But then like my boy might make like a love song. Yeah, yeah I got like two, two whole tapes about love songs. Okay, I was saying, bro, it's you singing in them. Or? Yeah, bro, I sing in my heart. I know, thing. but that's not okay. I feel like you misunderstood what I'm trying to say. Like for example, you look if you look at X is probably the best example. Mm-hmm. X X X Tentacion, right? This nigga could do a rock song. And then do an R and B track, but you still know that that's X mm. through his cadence and his voice. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you found that yet? Like, do you feel like you've you've put in the time in the studio to cultivate that? Like, even if I'm doing 
trap today and then I'm doing plug and be tomorrow. Niggas are gonna know that. That's still green. Does that make sense? No. They won't. They won't like like I play my music to some people and like sometimes I have a song where it's just me, no features. Yeah. But I'm I'm playing doing on different my voice things. so many yeah. ways. Yeah, and then I tell them that it's, it's all me that they're, sh- they're shook, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't have like a, st- a specific cadence I stick to. Yes. But I'm in rap, if I rap like, it's, if I don't sing, yeah, because I'll, I'll sing, but like, I'll play with my voice. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Type thing. But if it's just rap, yeah, you'll, you'll hear it's me. You'll know it's me. Yeah, for sure. Like, you'll know it's me. But yeah, bro, the melody thing, nah, man. No. Nah. Do, do you think you're close enough to kind of like solidify your own, like, in that sense, your own sound, like not and not sound as in type of music, but sound as in like I don't know how to explain it. You know, like I guess the best way is like for for example, have you heard that song? Or you must have heard it. X, uh, his first his first hit that like, when he first came out. Look, Look at, at me. me. Yeah. Like when that song came out, you knew that that was X. X sound. Exactly. Yeah, what you're saying. And then when he released something else that was a little bit more trap. Mm. It's still his cadence. It's still his sound. It's still like him. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you feel yeah. like your experimentation is taking you towards that? Where because I know that you got it down with like the rap shit. That's cool. But like mm. with all the other shit as well, you feel like you're getting closer to where you can be like, okay, cool. Even if I'm like experimenting and doing other things, niggas gotta know that's me because that ties back into the branding shit. That's important. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, Kala, now you're saying that. I'm already thought about that, bro. Like, all right. Well, yeah. that's that's something to think. That's something to you know. What I mean, to like think about. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and yeah, shout out to you for being, for being like sort of like in, in, in what's the word, fucking introspective about it. Yeah. Do you get know what I'm saying? Because most people just dismiss it. So you say you got you got you got tapes of you singing love songs and shit. What's the inspiration? Just remember the missus is here. Um, <laughs> so like, I got one tape. Yeah. From like college days, I used to be a bit of a playboy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like some some toxic love type shit. Like All right. I in. All right. Like the honesty. Yeah, and then nowadays, like when I make my music, it's more like heartbreak type shit. I guess like okay. yeah. Are you tapping in from the memories from from then or Nah bro, not anymore man. Like it's it's based on like now. It's based on now and it I guess like okay. shit, it's weird to talk about this. <laughs> it is it is a little bit but, but think about this it. like a therapist session. Mm, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like this is a safe space mm. and the world ain't gonna hear what what you don't want him to hear. Yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? So even if you do say something like oh, yeah, scratch that, take that, that's mm. cool, that's calm. But like, obviously, we know that in a relationship there's ups and downs. Do you get what I'm saying? That's, that's nothing to be. Mm. I didn't want to say ashamed because you shouldn't really be ashamed of that. Do you get what I'm saying? And I'm sure you tap into some of that energy from when you're trying to like make a song and shit. How complicated does that get when it's like the person that you you know you're writing this about is like you know she can hear it. I'll be real, bro. It's actually um. Like when I make a song about Star, yeah, like it's it's actually easier. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. Like, cause it's it's odd, bro. Like, I kind of wanted to hear it. Okay. You know what I'm saying, like, I kind of wanted to know how I feel. Like, I kind of wanted to feel the pain, not feel the pain, like, but, but know that, pain. yeah, yeah, know, know that, that you're like, going through that. Yeah, man. Okay. Like, it's not just some bullshit, like, cause some songs are freestyle, and like it might be some love lyrics. It's about no one. It's about nothing. It's just oh, it's, it's just something. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then you can really tell the difference when when it's like something that's yeah, real. Something that's real, bro. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, man. All right. So okay, that's calm. I I like I like that. Can we get a perspective on that or just like leave that? Out? Yeah, <laughs> talking that mic if you if you want it. So like when 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 he makes when he makes like. Really emotional love songs and stuff like that, and you hear it. Like, what's your, what's your views on that? I'm tip the mic towards you as well. Oh, a little like, bit. Like this. Yeah, just just move it like. See, no, hold the actual mic, and move it. Oh, like yeah, that. there you go. Like yeah, that. that's calm. Um, so wait, sorry, what was the? I was, question? I was just because <laughs> we were just talking about like the you know like the more emotional love songs that he makes yeah, and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. When when he writes about. 
like specific situation that you don't might go through mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying in a relationship mm-hmm. like what how do you feel when you hear them you know um uh I feel like when when he makes like songs where he actually like pours his emotions out into the into the music yeah. I feel like I don't really I, f- I kind of put my like my personal views aside and I just understand try and understand like where he's actually coming from in the song and kind okay. of like the message he's actually trying to portray. Okay. So sometimes it's it's tough because it's like it is sometimes private situations are like kind of made public yeah. by being put in like into music and into songs. But I feel like I just understand the creative standpoint in terms of like it being an outlet. Yeah. Like yeah, it being an outlet of like emotions. Mm. It's just like just basically expressing a point that he is in in his life right now okay. so i kind of just like respect it and just i kind of just yeah i just accept it really because it's not <laughs> okay. like, like no cap. it's because as an artist as well it's kind of like that's understand. what i was gonna say because yeah. you you make music yeah. yourself so yeah. like you kind of like understand where he's coming from like okay yeah. cool. and it's good that you don't take it personal because a lot of people take that shit personal yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying even if they're a musician themselves yeah the jt thing no, Louis Vuitton, like Louis Vuitton was performing a song, yeah, and he said something about Ice Spice, and he was with his oh, girl. Oh yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Because like I've obviously like may have dated some girls mm-hmm. that like would tell me oh, oh don't like the lyrics, oh, oh, oh. and it's yeah. just cap, yeah, it's just like bad bitch, duh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just cap. And I feel like at the same time though, it's I do try like to some extent. There's gonna be like emotion in someone talking about a situation that you're in mm. like yeah, you're not going to be able to help yourself and just be like cool I'm going to separate how I feel and just be like cool I'm not going to I'm just going to let you say whatever mm-hmm. like sometimes there Did will you be try to edit certain things I would never not tell edit, him to change something I don't think I've ever I, I never like tell him to change line, stuff yeah but there will be things that it's like I'll have to just keep to myself okay cool like I might not be okay with certain things or like maybe I, I would prefer if he said something else but I have to just respect the creative process at the end of the day. And if it's not, like, disrespectful, then I just have to, like, respect it. So. Yeah. But I don't think he's going to get disrespectful like that. Well, yeah, actually, that, I, don't, uh, I don't know him, but it seems, yeah. like, um, seems like kind of person. I think, like, mm. any lyrics you might really disagree with yeah. would be, like, the music I made before you. Oh, uh, okay. okay. What do you think? And it wouldn't really necessarily be about her, though. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if it's, like, about other people, then it's, like, cool, like, that. That was before me, so it's not really like my concern if that makes mm. sense. So makes yeah. sense, makes perfect sense. That's cool that like you get both perspective because usually, like you, ne- I never really get to you know what I mean get both perspective, both sides of the coin. You get what I'm saying, and a lot of times as well, like with musicians, it's easier to kind of like get your therapy off on the mic. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, For sure, bro. and not you know not really think of what the consequences are going to be until afterwards but i think it actually takes a lot of courage to actually like let people into like what's good you know what i'm saying and that's why the music is good because you can hear the difference you know do you i mean you can hear the difference from when something is coming from a real place of pain or something that you've actually been through and when you're just kind of like just fucking around making up you know whatever it's like it's it's authenticity like because some of these trap rappers you know that rap about trap they ain't trapping, bro. Like their man ain't on that. I trip, know, bro. bro. No. So it's like <laughs> you can you can like see the quality of music, mm. the authenticity, and like emotion. All these like boxes you got ticked. They're not all ticked, but it just sounds hella commercial, and that's alright. Yeah. Like it sells, but in terms of like um, long term long- longevity, like I ain't really interested in like just sounding commercial, bro. Like obviously that's I'm true. trying to get paid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'd rather get paid doing my thing. You know that's true. That's true. And a lot of times as well, like, when you hear, like, com- commercial songs, whether it's about love or whatever, someone else has written that, those lyrics. Mm, you know yeah, you're saying? right, bro. Yeah, yeah. They got, <laughs> so, they got a whole team. Like, I talked to my guy. Like, I literally met a guy in the studio, on it, mm. And he was telling me it's actually hard to compete when all these big labels, they're like, what? let's say your brother got a million-dollar deal label. Yeah. But my man's going to be in the studio with literally, like, Mandem mm-hmm. telling them words on the spot, talking about like 
trending things. Yeah, everything like yeah, like co writing everything like. And I'm sometimes myself, some bro. people, some sometimes some people will have like a like a market in person from the label in the studio telling them like, oh, what's trending right now? Oh, you mm. should add this lyrics in there. Yeah. Add this and do this. But yeah. I feel like that's bubblegum music though. Yeah. Who's the hardest rapper in the UK right now? I'll say Ooh. like. I'm talking. About, I'm talking like mainstream as well. Mainstream. I say, in my opinion, I say nines or put a paper. The hardest, as in like rap itself. Yeah, rap itself. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, s- I'm not gonna argue. I'll, that I'll really. say, yeah, yeah I'll say those. Really, yeah. Uh, obviously, the other really, people. Bro, yeah. And if we was to put Skepta in there, I'll, I'll put Skepta in there as well. Yeah. But yeah. when you listen to those three people that we just mentioned, those niggas don't get no ones to write their lyrics for them. <laughs> all, right, the other, all the I other niggas yeah, man, you're right, let me not you're mention right. no names like Lloyd Connor for example like. I didn't know that <laughs> I didn't know that hey man you could hear it bro I swear down yeah man I didn't know that I thought he was like authentic as hell brother I swear down shout out to Lloyd and shout out to everyone over there but mm. like they got writers in it. they got writers swear. they got people doing research into like what's like the you know the trendy topic for you to make music about like these labels have a lot of money to spend, bro. They have a yeah. lot of money to spend. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm not hating on it because at the end of the day, it's a business, isn't it? Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And because Loyal be rapping, Loyal is like, shout out to Loyal. And not, not to even use him as an example. You know what? Let me, not, let me not even stop saying his name. Those type of rappers be rapping about things that they haven't been through. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And I know for a fact they haven't been through it because I know their background. It's like, mm. you know, how you rapping about racism? But, mm. you know, like... You might have seen racism, but the type of racism you're talking about, that's not where you come from. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So someone else obviously wrote those lyrics, yeah, told you exactly how to like deliver them and shit like that, and you got the face, and you know what I mean? You move like that. A lot of man just got the image. Yes. And, and the label sees that and they're like, cool, we're going to use you as a puppet. Yes. We're going to use you as a puppet, Perfectly bro, put, yes. We've got bars for you, we've got marketing for you, you make money, you know what I'm saying? But you just got to be a puppet, bro. And, yeah. and that's not even just in music, bro, like... That's in a lot of things. It is a lot. Yeah, that's true. Like, it is in a lot of things. Teams, and I don't even like hate on it. It's just, yeah. it's just not for me because mm. I can hear it. Like most consumers can't hear it because they just want to, you know yeah, what I mean? Most just, consumers can't hear it. You, you know what I'm saying? They're just there to consume you. But, but you if you know it, music, yeah. you can hear it. Like, just be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, that don't sound like you actually really. <laughs> and again, like, I ain't, I don't listen to law on it. Me, me neither. Song, so like, me I, neither. I didn't know on it. Me neither. Me neither. I mean, I, like, I do my research with like most people in the scene and I just give their music a taste, but then I can, I mean, I can tell when it's inauthentic a little bit. But talking about labels though, like what what are your, what are some of your plans in terms of like the I'll be so real, I'm business hungry, side. Like, I'm, I'm hungry, bro. Like I'm, I'm so hungry. Like I'll, I'll sign a label to you. Like some, some man want to be in the whole way through and like, I'd love to if I was eating. Mm-hmm. But if I'm not eating, the label's offering me such and such for yeah. this amount of long, yeah. and they're not taking piss of it. Fuck it, I'll sign that, bro. I'll flip that piece, and I'll when the label deal ends, like I'll fucking turn it into a million, bro, innit? But like, it's, it's an opportunity in the day, innit? It's because yeah. some people say fuck labels. Nah, it's not no, fuck labels. Not man. Them niggas got too much money for you to say fuck bro, them. Yeah, <laughs> what do you mean that? Like, they can they can feed you. Nah. If you, if you do this facts. Fuck, you see sense, bro. You see twenty facts. million. Facts. You get what I'm 20 saying? Twenty fucking million pounds. I think about when you say started fuck from labels. Nah, but I know you would take that twenty million. We bro. love the labels over you here, know what I'm bro. Saying? And I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a job at Sony as well. So shout out mm. to Sony. Love you guys. <laughs> don't forget love me. Yeah. Don't just forget me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love you guys so much. Like fuck that. Nah, the labels they have their part to play. But because obviously it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a, a good and bad, and you got to take the good with the bad. There's certain things that they do that I'm not necessarily like all for because I love music. Mm. But they, without the labels, a lot of these, a lot of like, for, for example, Central C going global and all the Americans fucking with them, that would never happen. Mm. That would have never happened. Like, you can't have like a, because obviously you have, you have like the smaller labels in the UK. If that's all we had and Sony and Universal wasn't fucking with our music, they're never crossing over to it's America, same, bro. It's, it's not same. happening. It's not happening. So the labels are important. So yeah, shout out to everyone that works at the label. Bro, like you, like it's it's tough, man. Because independent artists, they don't they don't get around the world like at all, they man. Should, bro. But it's okay. Like it's okay because everyone. How how I I once got told by this guy that um, yeah, is a music manager. Yeah, it's like in the music business. If if they sign in it for them, then 
they might find something in it for you. I guess I don't know. I don't know about what. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, but like it's like if everybody eats, it's better. Yeah, you're good. You, cause yeah. like you can do it all on your own, but let's say a brother with a hundred racks sees that you can make him another hundred racks, like and you I, might as well go down exactly. That road, and when he's making hundred racks, you make like ten. Like that's you know that's calm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But, like, but if you chose to just be like, nah, I wanted to be independent. I didn't want to have a boss or something like that. I wanted to be my own boss. Cool, good for you, bro. But like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you could you your your purposely keeping yourself a bit behind mm-hmm. the ego. Absolutely, you know that's what I was gonna say. That's just ego yeah, talking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? because you're gonna talk about I'm be my own boss, but really in life, no one's everyone's got a boss, bro. Mm. Even the head of Universal's got a boss. Shout shout to my guy, but like, do you get what I'm saying? Like everyone has a boss, so that's yeah. not even when I hear when I hear people use that as an excuse. It's like nah, that's not that's not good enough excuse. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Because you're you're stifling yourself. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? And also as well, you never know what opportunity you're gonna get that's gonna Literally, get bro, you yeah. out of here. And as soon as you get out of here, people think, Oh yeah, nah, I'm done now, I don't have to answer to no one. You still have to answer to someone. Literally. Even if you made it on your own. Even if you did your independent thing, you worked grind, blah blah blah, and then now maybe some people in, in Australia know about you and you're trying to figure out how to get over to Australia, you don't have enough peace. You know what I'm saying? And and if you're not able to make your way to Australia, you're not going to make that piece. Yeah, bro. So now what? Now you've got to answer to someone. You need friends, bro. Like in, in any business, you, you can't do it alone. Like you can do a lot alone, for sure. I'm not going to discredit that, but you can't do everything. You work alone. better as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Rex. If you've got a team, like these biggest artists that mm. like, are popping the most, got teams. You know what mm. I'm saying? You've got to work together, bro. Like, it's it's all right. You can you can go very far by yourself, but you can go even further with people around you. And surely, when you want to eat with the people you fuck with around you, of you know course, what I'm saying? of course, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Why not? It's better if everybody eats, fam. One thousand percent. It's always better if everybody, if everybody eats. And also, as well, another thing that I realized, especially about the UK, is that you kind of do need the label because the UK industry like not just not just the industry the consumer base is so small like say you was in america you could probably live a good life yeah. if you was like a medium or yeah. even a small rapper oh, yeah, because man. america has what 350 million people if you get like maybe about a million of those people fucking with you cool yeah, in england there's only 60 million <laughs> and out of that yeah. 60 million maybe Love about well. 12 million listen to to rap music mm. Do you know what i'm saying like maybe yeah. even less Cause you got to think about it, England, the traditional music from England is like pop music. Most of them don't really be fucking with that like urban stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what they call it, anyways. But in America, that's like the birth that's of hip hop. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, so in England, you definitely need yeah, someone to like put some tough, money bro. behind you. Yeah. It's very tough, very very tough. It's tough, bro. Hey man, we're all learning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, what what would you kind of like? What do you envision yourself for the you know for the future? Like, how far in the future? Say like the next five years, for example. Next five what years. We trying to get to. I'm trying to be doing world tours, bro, and I'm trying to have my own label where everyone I see that needs an opportunity that deserves an opportunity, mm. I can help help them. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, because. Man did this by myself. I say, obviously, I met people along the way to help me. Yeah. Like at the start, like man had to figure, man had to take L's, man had to make mistakes, and I want to help people that like have the same drive, like same passion mm-hmm. to get it in easier, in it, and I can help, I can help them do that, and we all make a bit of money. You know Facts. I mean? Facts. Yeah, bro. I like that mentality. Yeah, I like that mentality a lot. Like a lot of times. People always think just me, 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 mm. me, me. You know what I mean? But, but it has to be me, though. Like, yeah, of course. It, like, you you gotta then, be selfish, yeah, but like, you also gotta serve people to get even further. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Bro. That makes sense. But uh, like the the what's the word? Like the thing on the back of your mind has yeah. to be you. you yeah, 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 of course. Because other, course. otherwise, you are not in a full on. Exactly, and you can't really help people if you're not stable yourself. Mm. You know I'm saying you gotta f- figure out yourself first. So, obviously, um, uh, how long you been releasing music for? I didn't even ask that. 
like 22 okay april 2022 it was like the first time that's yeah you're only a year now deep in it now yeah it's about yeah, only about a year, year and a half yeah. something like that yeah that's not that long at all mm. that is not that i mean f- obviously you you've been practicing from before um, but like proper professionally mm. so in that time in that period of time what are some of the things that you've like had to like because i meant like you mentioned earlier that you had to take l's and then you know i mean what some of some of those l's like because you know there might be someone watching right now that you know they're like okay cool i'm here i'm 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 at the stage where i've just started um so the main l i would say uh, is starting too late how come i started rapping at 10 years old and i only started releasing music a year ago you know what i'm saying if i if i started 10 years ago You'd how different would it be now? 100. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I started recording music when I was in college, like, two and a half years ago. Mm. So that's that's a one-year difference. If I released that song a month after I... Re- if, I if I recorded... The, uh, sorry, if I released the song, yeah. first song I recorded, a month after I recorded it, how different would I be? You know what I'm saying? Because, man, I was in a studio a year straight making songs, but I didn't release till last year. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? What, what, why do you think you kind of like held off off releasing it? Like, oh, you like know, perfectionist, bro, like, or are you like a perfectionist, or is it just like? Yeah, I guess, bro. Like, I don't even know where it was. I think it was more for like, um, image maybe, mm. like, like what people would think. Think of I you, think, yeah. yeah. But and then I, I realized, fuck, fuck that, yes, fuck that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Literally, fuck that because what people think of you, yeah. Or you mind read the bro, like you don't exactly. even know like what they're thinking of you. And so, even like, if they think cares. something bad about it, so what? So yeah, what? Bro. Yeah, I realized that as well, G. Most like, people, most people think their opinions matter, mm. but to me, if you're not, I always say this: like if you're not feeding me, or like helping me feed myself, mm. <laughs> then I don't give a fuck what you have to say Literally, about bro. anything I'm doing. Does it matter? But obviously, I know that we were in a society where, like, the image almost matters more than, for sure. the, you know, yeah, for what sure, your intentions sure. are, if that makes sense. Yeah, so a sure. lot of people get wrapped up in that. But, you know, it takes yeah. takes a little... So how do you kind of, like, get out of that mentality of thinking, oh, yeah, now what are they going to think to, like, you know, fuck this? Like, was it something that happened or did you kind of just was, gradually realise that? Yeah, it's just, like, over, the, over time, like, the more I grew love for it, and the more like I see myself improving, mm. like you know when you say a hard bar and then you're getting guess like, Ooh, I don't want to fuck yeah. come up with that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Type shit. And you realize, right. you realize you're getting better and you're seeing improvement. Naturally, your confidence will build up. And then yeah. I, and and then I realize that you know what fuck what people think because like, nowadays people someone might comment something like hateful. Yeah. But when I listen to that song and I'm fucking with it, when I play it to my man next to me, he's fucking with it. So it's. Like, so I'm that saying, comment don't even matter. Yeah, that you. comment don't even mean right. shit. G. From my brother, I don't even know. Exactly you know on the saying, internet, bro? and and I've had people like tell me, like I'm shit at rapping. That aren't even rappers, and I tell them, I tell them, bro, post a freestyle right now, and if it bangs, I'll quit music today. <laughs> shit like that, bro. And, and then I just get aired, bro. You know what I'm yeah, because they, they can't. Because they you know can't, saying? bro. So like, how how can you not even do anything near this yeah. and try to tell me I can't do it? You yeah, know what I'm saying? But all them type of people are losers, though. Mm, it's because they, they, it's easy for them to criticize because they, they're not actually doing it and they feel like they don't have to do it. I can just see what I feel. And especially niggas online. Niggas online be trolling. Because a lot of times... Sure, bro. <laughs> Hello, trolls, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's funny, though. I, I, I don't get hurt by that. Actually, yeah. I find it entertaining, bro. Like, F- facts. You know because a lot of times when you actually bro. meet that person in real life... It's algorithm as well. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. It helps you out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why... Because yeah, I've been... I used to, I used to do, like... Before I started my new platform, Image of God, I used to do like another, another thing called. It was kind of like DJ Academic type oh, yeah, style, yeah, yeah. Type, but I was I was reporting on like six seven and my future mm-hmm. and then man back then. He get hey, he was just messaging me like, oh, if I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna <laughs> all this all this dumbness like oh, when I catch him, I was gonna stab you up, <laughs> and all this <laughs> stupidness. And then one time I went to Scribs's um barbecue. Yeah. Um, you know scripts from LD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you see, he had a, he had a birthday party in Brixton, right? Mm. And I just turn up as like, just trying to do my journalist thing, innit? Yeah, and yeah, I just turn yeah. up like I, don't, I thinking about thinking about it now. 
in retrospect, that was kind of a dumb move. Kind of a dumb but move, I just turned up and they're just yeah. like, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, no, I just wanted to, you know, record you lot doing your thing, innit? And it was like, is Swear that new black you. image? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and you know what's funny about it? They was like, oh, your shit is bare funny, man. You be taking oh, the piss out of us. So it's not even them that be commenting that. It's bro, just their fans, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? That's they smart. actually loved it. Because they, cause they understand, like, you know what I'm saying? They understand, like, that these, it was giving them bro, exactly, bro, you know what I'm saying? exactly. But the niggas that be like supporting them, be feeling some type of way. While mm. the actual guys like, oh shit, keep doing your thing. That's mm. hard. You're you're putting our music even more well, out, out there. there as well, yeah, bro. You 100%. get what I'm saying? It's so just, ever since then, I just don't even care about niggas just, that be commenting just, online. Yeah, it just depends. Like, I don't know if you were like talking bad on these man. Like, I was doing like you know you know war Shir- war uh, war in Chirac. Yeah. I was doing that kind of thing, but I wasn't getting mad disrespectful with it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I wasn't like... Just entertaining. Yeah, I was yeah, entertaining, yeah, but yeah, I, I wasn't like cussing no one's mom yeah, and shit. Like, I wasn't yeah, doing none of that type of stuff. But and I might make jokes about like how dumb some of the things that they're doing, mm-hmm. like stabbing, stabbing but, up, but like, you know? Shit like that. I can't lie, like, I think some people understand like, they accountability do. as well, innit? Like, it is dumb. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, going to jail for some dumb thing is dumb, innit? And it man, man them like... Do you know? But it's, I think they mistake, know that though. It's all right, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? I think they know that, but they're just in that men- they they're just in that mentality of just like I have to show niggas around me that I'm the hardest. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because when I was talking to them, they seemed like really nice people, like just like really. But obviously, I'm sure that you know when it when like it gets it, back to the yeah, yeah, block, it's a bit yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. But I f- that's why that's why I think people just kind of like caught up in the mentality of oh I have to show this I my, like I have to I can't. What's the word? I can't. I can't be. You know what I mean? I have Too a reputation weak. to yeah. uphold that type of shit. Because really and truly, these guys are nice guys. Like, and if I feel like if they were, if they'd grown up in a different environment, it would have been very different for them. Yeah. Very, very different. Because they're so talented. But anyways, fuck the internet trolls. Mm. <laughs> so um, what else do I want to ask you? Do you? This this one's gonna be a little bit of a of a of a intimate question. Do you feel like? Okay. You've ever been in love before? I am in love, bro. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, man. How do you... How do you kind of, like, compartmentalise, you know, like, and separate, like, your actual emotion from, like, you know, what you want to actually portray? Because obviously, like, you know, like we, like we mentioned earlier, it's difficult to just put everything on there. Mm. Certain things you want to just keep to yourself, do you know what I'm saying, and between you and... You and your missus or whatnot. Do you get what I'm saying? How do you kind of like make the difference between that? I'll be real, like, I haven't even gone too hard like that on a track yet about, okay. about that because it's like so real to me. You understand? Mm. Like, every time I make like a love song, like, there is an element of playfulness to it as well. Unless, like, it's a bad day, like, when I'm feeling bad, isn't it? Yeah. I'm feeling like low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's weird, bro. Cause it's it's like um, you're kind of nervous, I guess. Mm-hmm. When when it gets real deep in the lyrics and real deep in the in the feeling, like it don't just come out, like it yeah. don't just come out, like it's it's weird. I can imagine it's weird because like pain will help some things come out. Mm-hmm. But then when it's too much pain, it's like you got you want to hold it back, you know what I'm because because yeah. then. Have you ever it's made a song and decided, oh, I can't release that ever? Nah. Okay. Nah, All right. Like, uh, every every time I make a song, like, even if the lyrics are controversial or something yeah. like that, like I'm proud of the work, and like I'm on releasing it. But if I release something and then the, and then that song sounds, the quality of the song is not meeting, like, yeah. then then I might not release it. Okay. Okay. Fair. So it's not necessarily like the content. It's just like you feel like oh, that's not the standard up. Mm. I want to be putting out that type of shit. That's cool. Though. And also as well, it's good that you have the consciousness to be like quality controlling your shit. You know what I'm saying? Because some people just put out anything and it's just like, um, you know, that one kind of went down a little bit compared to what he normally releases, which is which is calm. So when do you, do you lot ever make music together? For sure, yeah. When you do, how does that work? Like, So... We got another producer named Dom Marcy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my guy right there. He makes like um, 
trap beats, super trap beat, like American hip hop type beats. Okay. He ain't even for the UK, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell him, go fucking America. Go yeah. fly America, G, and you'll Facts. go. I keep telling him, like, Chief Keith type <laughs> beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Chief Keith type beats. And I'm telling him, like, yo, like, fuck the UK thing, bro. He's not seeing it yet. But if we went over there, like, go crazy. But we normally be in session with him, and then he'll cook something up. And then like, I'll make, like, a noise, or I'll tell him, like, drums, da 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 mm. and keep making a keep progressing the beat and then me and star will write sign and then see who wants to go first and that's how it really goes bro yeah. okay so so we're like would you say that you produce the tracks i myself not like i'm produce. i'm not talking about beat making like co produce yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure okay Got there we go. like that makes sense yeah, that makes sense it sounds sounds like that's the vibe anyways mm-hmm. now i want to talk about like your fans like people mm-hmm. that people that you know like fuck with your music yeah like, do you know who they are? Like, are you aware? In terms of like a specific demographic? Yeah. Nah, bro. I don't. I don't want my music to have a specific demographic. You want it to be more wide. Yeah, man. I just if it if it um if it means something to you, mm. if it touches you, then that's that's my mission complete, bro. Okay. Do you ever interact with them online and shit? For sure, bro. Like, I talk to a lot of my my fans, bro. Like, anyone that shows me support, like, like sends me a video, of them bumping my tune, I repost them my story, like. I'll even have conversations, like day-to-day conversations. Mm. Like someone might swipe up to my story, this is hard, bro, repost it, and I follow them back. And then a week later, they're putting on a story, like something about their mum dying or something like that. Yeah. Not that specifically, but that. But yeah, some, something, yeah. I'll, 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 even, I'll even swipe up and personally, like, ask them myself if, I'm good, if they're good, they're bro. Because like, um, you support me and my dream. So like, I, I, and I'm just, I want to be at least a decent human being, innit? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, not even because you do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, and also, bro. as well, it's good to have a connection with your fans. And that's why I kind of ask, because even at this stage where you, maybe to you, you feel like, okay, I'm not big yet or whatever. But, bro, even if you, like, reach two people and you keep that connection with them, that's how you do get to the point where, like, niggas are, like, fucking with you, fucking with you. Because it's, like, it's genuine, innit? And people yeah. can tell. People can feel it as well. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everyone out there that support you. Shout out to everyone supporting, bro. No you know cap, because like, I'm going to say this now, innit? Like, I'm not in without you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in without the man supporting me because if no one's listening, there's no there's no elevation. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no career. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I could be making music for myself all day long, but you're the man, you're the people trying to help this dream become a reality more. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I fuck with everyone bumping my tune or just liking, commenting, anything, bro, because... That's that's literally all I need, really. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's all I need. Like you, you ain't even got to do nothing else, really. Like, just yeah, just post my thing, and, uh, and you're gonna help me get there. Do you know what I'm saying? And you know, it only takes a little bit, but you know, it means a lot when it comes in. You know, what I mean, in the yeah. mass. Something so little can do so much. Facts. Know, Have you ever performed before, like live Bad shows? Time, bro, I love what's performing, man. What's your favorite like hmm. live performance you ever done? I want to say Box Park Croydon, yeah. Oh. It's a bit because like the crowd is it's not always the best crowd, G. Yeah, because it's box park crowd. Like. Yeah, but I don't know. Like if we're in shortage, you might be, you might, you might get a mm. better crowd in shortage. But it's weird because like sometimes the shows mm-hmm. be the majority of other pe- the majority of people in the crowd are artists. Yeah. Oh. So you see how it's like, mm. yeah, people are yeah, like yeah, a little, see, little bit, and like that's MV the shit little, thing you know about the UK, bro. How I'm saying, bro, but that's the shit yeah, thing bro. about the UK. Cause you see, if you see the same thing happening in America, all the artists, all the smaller artists, be supporting each other, mm. getting gas, everyone will be drinking, having yeah, a man. vibe, smoking, doing whatever. Literally, if but if if you was friends, yeah, yeah, with every artist in the scene, than just a guy watching and just evil lying, yeah, like how how much further would you be deeper? If, if you were friends, if you if you pull up to the show. Like and you know everybody, you know everybody, yeah. And then everybody is following you, mm-hmm. just reposting you, and you're just cool with everyone. Mm. How much further are you gonna go than just just watching and just think, huh? And just hating, and just huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, acting too cool. Yeah, bro. That's that's the thing that's like killing us though in the UK. We all think we're too cool. And let me let you look know right now. None of you are too cool. None of you, bro. None of you are won a Grammy. Why are you moving like that? Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why why are you moving like? Hurt, like my man, like like you shouldn't even applaud. But G, like I'm gonna applaud for you. You know what I'm saying? It's it's weird. It's it's, it's weird, very, very bro. Weird. It's very weird. It's it's it kind of sounds insecure in a way. 
it. It you is insecure. And a lot of them are insecure. To be less, if, you, if you really want to get yeah, into yeah. it. <laughs> do you if you're happy with your own art mm. and you think it's good enough for yourself, then like you wouldn't be moving like that. Facts. You know I'm saying because you wouldn't be thinking hmm, like, about this guy on stage. Like you wouldn't be like you would want to support. Yeah, because bro. and also as well like if you're supporting someone else and their music is elevating, it also helps you out as well. You know that's what people mm, f- like people seem to forget. That, yeah, someone's on a come up, and you're you're giving them the support. Like who knows what if now the man like. Wanted to work with YouTube. Exactly. You know what, you I'm, what saying? I'm saying? You just watch on the side and just either land like... You and like even besides that, besides mm. that, when you when you mm. put, like, say, for example, you use that another artist show, you show your support and you put your, their shit on your, inst- I mean, your Insta, like, Instagram mm. stories or whatever the fuck, you know, your social media and all that shit, right? People paying attention to that brings attention to the whole scene. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It brings attention to, like... Because Americans... Actually, maybe not now. Maybe they know a little bit more. But before, Americans used to think it's only Stormzy and Skepta that rapped in the UK. And that's because UK niggas don't support anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? True, bro. Apart from, shout out to Skepta, though. He's probably done the most out of yeah. everyone. Do you know what I'm saying? Skippy and Lancey. Do, you, do you know what I'm saying? And then on his thing right now. With Bear facts, and his fam. facts. And that's, yeah. all, that's all because Skepta is not... He's not one of those people that feels like, oh, yeah, after I've made it to that global stage now, fuck everyone else. No, nigga. Mm. He's bringing people through. Obviously, people that he well, feels like are worth Lancey, it, innit? Bro. Same, Lancey, yeah, hard. Because Lancey will make a tune with Sexy Red mm-hmm. and we'll make a tune with Len. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and the levels, obviously, like, no hate or no one, but, like, the levels are different. Different, really of course. Different, though, but of course. So it, it shows, like, how, um, how you just care about the art. Facts. You know what I'm saying? How Facts. You, you're not thinking about numbers or, like image so much you're just thinking like I fuck with this guy mm-hmm. sounds support. hard you let's go exactly what's that bro exactly. that's how it should be isn't it mm-hmm. and that's and, and that's why he's he's got his flowers man like mm-hmm. surely like and, and talking about Lancey you know he, he doesn't just do that with all that, that whole camp anyway they don't just do that with artists they do that with other creatives that they that they like see that are doing something in the mm-hmm. scene that are hard working like for example I do like I shoot like I, I've got another show called At the Live Show where I just take my camera and just shoot like the whole show and just stick it up on YouTube. Mm. I realize that people like watching that, right? And I go to like I've tried to go to quite a lot of different shows and some shows I'll be barred from recording, some shows you become whatever, blah blah blah. When when I went to Lancey's show, someone tried to stop me, and I think the guy must have been like some security guard or whatever. Lancey's manager saw him, spoke to me for like five minutes and was like, "What do you do? What's your what's your brand?" And I showed him. And he was like, let him do his thing, man. Them guys yeah. are so cool, bro. Like, because this guy don't know me from nowhere. Does, doesn't owe me anything. Do you get what I'm saying? And obviously, I'm not saying this is Lancey Lancey, but that's just the type of culture that they've got going on over there. Yeah. There's no hating type of vibe. And look, they're winning. They're winning, bro. <laughs> do you they're know what winning I'm saying? Nicely, bro. So that should show you, sure man. I'm not sure independent or not, but... Um, I think he's definitely uh, signed to Big Smoke Record. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, a so that's a nice thing to sign to. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, bro, obviously, I wouldn't mind getting signed to that G. Facts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Shout out Skepta, be, man. I'll be looked after, bro. Yeah, shout out Skepta, bro. Yeah, man. But um, I was gonna, I was gonna say something else. What's your, what's your like favorite track that you've released, and what's your favorite that you like to perform? My favorite track that I like to perform. It's called Superstar. It's an unreleased, uh, unreleased song. Unreleased joint. Unreleased joint. I, I, whenever I perform it, crowd got crazy. You know you gotta drop that now, right? We're dropping that soon. No soon. cap. We're uh, stacking up a bit, and then we're gonna make a hard video, like hard, hard video. And we're trying to get. Um, I, I don't know if you know who Sinner is. Yeah, I've interviewed him. Oh yeah, swear down. Yeah, yeah, bro. Um, shout out to Sinner. Yeah, shout out to Sinner. I mean, bro. I don't know, but you actually, know. I'm talking to him about getting him on the track as well. It's, it's me star on the track. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get him on the track as well, and I can't laugh, and that's gonna shut down the internet. Give me crazy. Okay. Okay. No cap. Hey no man. Chino, bro. No bro. cap. <laughs> like, I have really, let me hear you it. You got a good feeling. Yes. Yeah. I'll play it for you after this thing. Yeah. And then my favorite tune that I've released. Sina goes hard. Mm. Favorite tune I really is probably Bally, probably my most recent one. Okay, just because um, history and like how much like it's it's one of the first songs I made where like I started tapping into my heart. 
Oh, okay. I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first started rapping, it's more trap, like yeah, like bad man things in it, like some gassed up you, like just yeah, trying to. But this one's weird. This one, yeah, when I start tapping in my emotion, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and like that side of me where it's like, I'm becoming a more authentic mm. means a more like music, and uh, the the music's more true to myself and more, um, I don't know, bro, it just has more meaning to it, and when it has more meaning to it, it'll be better. Yeah, so like, that's why like right now is my favorite track. One hundred percent. That's I mean, honestly, it's been it's been really it's been really cool chatting to you, like getting to know you. Do you know what I'm saying? And I noticed that you got quite a lot of tattoos as well. Is that like are you gonna get like a full sleeve on the other arm as well? Bro, eventually, I'm getting covered at the top. Bro. Oh, the whole well, your whole body. Well, man's a real rapper, G. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, bro. Face, neck, back. That one, that one is really cool. I like this one. That's a lot. And and this as well. Yeah, like I, I think does it hurt? Because yeah, I don't have a tattoo. It hurts I'll a be lot. real, man. Them that say it don't hurt, are capping. It hurts. Yeah, it, it does hurt. It's just, um. How much you can handle pain? Pain for That's what it is. You know what I'm saying yeah. like tattoos hurt. No, like no one can say they don't. It you know looks saying? like it hurts. Yeah, but you're getting <laughs> you stabbed in the skin with six needles <laughs> for six hours straight, and that's you're saying the, it don't hurt. That's the only reason you know why I, mean? I ain't really like being down that road. But I do wanna, I do wanna yeah. eventually, but and also as well, like I, I want, I feel like I don't know because I'm not a tattoo expert, expert, but I feel like I wanna just do it all at once. But do you reckon it's better to do piece by piece by piece by piece? What um, would you say? No disrespect, but you wouldn't be able to handle it all at once. Okay, because of the pain. Yeah, bro, just because yeah. you're new to it. Like, yeah. I had to start that's small that's and then get bigger and bigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you're going to sit through... Like, you, if you want to do this whole arm up in one sitting, that's 12 hours, G. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, wanna do it takes that long. Yeah, bro, this this one here, like from here to here, it's like yeah. six hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to do the whole arm... It's gonna be, hours. Yeah, I'm definitely have to do. And and it's a lot of um, trauma, bro. Okay. No cap, like you're fully telling your brain firm this pain six hours straight. You're getting yinged in the arm, but little needles, and you're firming it. Like, like literally, your body can shake afterwards, like, without even intentionally. Like, yeah, you course. might you might firm it, like shrug it, but your body ain't firming it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, your mind's firming it. Like, oh, cool, like we can do this. We can ride it out. Yeah. But your body's gonna respond naturally. You know what I'm saying? Does any of the, does any of your tattoos like mean something deep, or you um, just kind of like just you like they the all mean something, bro? Like, I'm I'm a bit of a meaning guy, like okay. So I could get into it, but now we can get into it real quick before we sign this out. Yeah, bro. Why not? So I got a, I got a tag on my hand. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can zoom in on that. You should, it, yeah, you should be able to. Basically, my left arm is like Thailand theme. Oh, okay. That, like Thailand, that's why bro. you got the. So I got like. I don't know the name of the yeah, of the bro. god, but I know it's like uh, yeah, bro. I got like I don't want to say the wrong thing, like a Buddhist, Buddhist god, yeah, yeah, like temple. You know what I'm saying like like mountains from Thailand, like a boat from Thailand, like leaves, tiger. You know what I'm saying like that's cool. Oh, have you yeah. been back? Yeah, bro, plenty of times, man. Yeah, that's cool. Love it there, bro. That's cool. I'm trying to I'm trying to live there. Like I don't want to live in no UK. G. I could imagine life is way more like yeah, straightforward yeah. over there. Simple. Quality of life, just, mm-hmm. just happy, bro. It's simple, man. Here, like, everything's complicated. Money. Yeah, money, <laughs> hey, that's the, yeah, that's the no thing. Cap. Here, here, it's just about money, money, bro. Yeah, bro. It's Facts. tough, fam. It's Facts. It's, it's true though, cause like I, I mentioned this about um America and UK. Mm. These two countries are built on exploitation of other countries. Absolutely. So exploitation of the world. Of, of the world, yeah. So. <laughs> So in terms of like values, and like um just like the va- like morals, British, yeah, moral shit. like it's about it's about money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So naturally, like that's why like people mental health be fucked in the UK, bro, in America. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because um your whole you feel like your whole life objective is just to get just the bag, mem- yeah, just and, to get and money. You'll be happy, but like that's it shouldn't. And that's be the, that. exactly, and that's the thing. People think that money makes you happy. Money doesn't make mm, you happy. money don't make you happy, bro. At all, real, like at all, money does not. Let me, make let you me happy. say something. Like, still want money. Don't get me wrong. You still need money. You need money. <laughs> I'm not saying it don't, don't make take you happy, the bro. It doesn't. And and a lot of people might disagree with me here, but like I've I've had peace. Like man, man had peace. Come and go. Like big money. But that time of my life, I was the most depressed time of my life mm. because I'm thinking I'm there chasing money, thinking it's gonna cure my happiness. But you know, all the drip I can buy in Harrods, all, all the things you can do with the money, like it's, it's lit and all, but, but it's not gonna make you purpose happy. Purpose is happiness, bro. Facts. 
Facts. It was like you can do you can use that money to to I don't know push your dream. And even if the dream don't blow and you don't become a millionaire for it, you'll be happy, bro. Like that's true. A like, man from Thailand, bro, where a lot of a lot of people don't even make bread, but they do like the job they want. You know what I'm saying? And they're and, happy. Yeah, they're happy. You know what like, I'm they, saying? they get enough mm-hmm. to just eat. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like they just get enough to eat, but they're they're happy because Facts. they're doing they're, they're living a the whole life. Imagine like let's say like you're an MMA trainer mm. and you only make like I don't know, um, Eight bills a month, yeah. something like that. It's Thailand, bro. You're not making peace like that here. Eight bills a month. Mm. Da, 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 da. You're not rich, but you're, bro, you're doing your passion every day for your whole That's life, true. bro. The fuck, like you're not complaining once. That's you true. Know what I'm saying? And also, 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 as well, like you mentioned earlier, it's about, it's just about like the, the collective morality. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Over there, money's not put on the pedestal the way it is over here. But then again, if you live over here, you have to make sure you find your happiness from other places. Mm. But you also have to understand that you got to actually, like, you have to kind of not prioritise money over your happiness, but prioritise money over most things, I'd say. Yeah, because otherwise, fun, living <laughs> living poor in England is not fun, bro. It's not fun, bro. <laughs> <At> like, <all. laughs> it's too different in England, it's, bro. It's, I, f- I, think it's, I feel like it's kind of rigged, bro. Like, how I've been seeing oh, it as absolutely. well. absolutely. How, how I've been seeing it as well, yeah. Like, living crisis is going crazy, you like. What? Like, it's going crazy, bro. Like, they're actually, they're doing, like, uh, it looks like they're actually trying to just fuck but over every poor, bro. Absolutely. It looks, you, it looks like it, bro. Do you know why? It's because in this country, you have such a, like, there isn't too much um, middle class, isn't it? It's, there's, like, a lot of upper class people and a lot of, like, lower class people. So you kind of have to be one or the other. There's some people in the middle, but it's barely any. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's why. So these people over here at the bottom, they're not really seeing the life that these people over here at the top are living. And the people over the top, they're not really, they don't really care about the people at the bottom. So that's why England is the way it is. And that's why there's a lot of illegal activities that the law knows about in England, but the economy depends on it so much that they just turn a blind eye to it. You know what I'm saying? And hey man, I'm not even mad. Like, I mean, everyone get your bread, do, do what you need to Literally, do. Bro. But that being said though, guys, I'm going to put all of the, all of the social medias down there in the description. We've got to close this out now. Come on, bless up. Image of God having me here. Nah, thank you for coming through, my guy. Thank you for having me, I appreciate bro. it. That was a sick interview. Green's one only, yeah. Come on, man. All the all the socials, all of them is going to be down there anyways. Go for it with his latest tune that he's just dropped. Yeah, Bally Bally out now. Bally out right yeah, now. Yeah. And there might be some other songs out as well, Like, but I'll hit them up before I post the video so you can put the, the link down there also as well. Do you get what I'm saying? It's been amazing. Um, and guys, like I always say every week with all these interviews, I interview these artists because underground artists need the support. And not just the fact that they need the support, they're really, really sick. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know if I can stress this enough. I don't like it when people say to me, oh, yeah, no, I'm listening to the same thing over and over again because that's what people are feeding me. Go yeah. out there and search for new Discover, artists. Bro, in fact, I'm even bringing them to yeah. you lot. Discover, you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, exactly. It's a good feeling, bro, when, when you discover artists I like, like. Facts. And it's even a better feeling when you put your friends on artists you discover, G. Facts. It's, it's just a sick, like, the, um, naturally, as people, as humans, yeah, the feeling of discovery. new, exactly. Very, very empowering, bro. You know Facts. I mean? So... So make sure you look good. Support, like, share, subscribe, like always, and uh, like English here by closing. Image of God. Bye. Bye.